awaiting the arrival of the Elder Lord. Unless, of course, thou shouldst take the crown. Hey, welcome uh, to my uh, monthly uh, game reviews. Uh, more about games I played. Um, this month is going to be a little different. There's really only one game I played. Um, I have played other games, like I played uh, Artful Escape. I'm also playing uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. But there's only one game I can talk about. Like uh, Elden Ring. Uh, what do you say? Where to begin? Holy shit. Um, it's one of the best games I've ever played. Um, I'm not even a huge uh, Souls guy. Like, uh, yeah, they're too hard for me. And they're too linear. Um, when they decided to open it up, I got curious. So I gave it a chance. And I'm so grateful. It's like... Um, this this philosophy I have, um, like uh, games today are very, they try too much to be like uh, movies, uh, but for me games are more about having a virtual world, like your playground. Uh, it's about making your own stories, um, and very few games fully commit to that, like. Um, like I often say, like the closest game, like the closest perfect game we have is Minecraft. Uh, because that is very much doing it on your own, your own uh, uh, story and uh, your own everything. Um, and Eldering is closer to that than most games today. It's, um, like... You can skip the story completely. Like, I don't even know what it's about. You're supposed to become something. Um, and I think that's such a huge strength of the game. Like, uh, <clears throat> like reading or dialogues, everything. It's super boring for me in every all the games. I, I often just skip, 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 skip. But I still love RPGs. That's my, that's my um, preferred genre. So this is like so close to how I want um, a perfect RPG to be like a fully interactive world you are in you do what you want um, but it's st it still lacks a, a lot it's uh, it's not perfect like uh, the world is very empty it's uh, you don't really feel like as a living world like this this like no life there beyond what you do. Uh, so for me, like perfect game would be like, let's say this, but you have much more interactive in the world, uh, much more other people, like uh, NPCs and stuff like that. And uh, something I don't really like about this when it comes to stories, it feels like it's an afterward. And I don't like, like context for a game or a story that is either in dreams or in heaven or in afterlife in any way. Uh, it feels like a pretend. <laughs> it's strange to say it about, uh, about the game, but uh, yeah, uh, I would prefer like a, like a more, like it feels like the real world. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm like 70 hours in and I'm still discovering stuff about the world. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Um, like uh, oh, it it will spoil me for other games. It's I'm not sure how how does one play lesser games after this. Like uh, how does one go back to like uh, open world Ubisoft games? Like uh, oh my god, yeah, it's it has really set the bar high. Uh, I could almost say like a. Uh, if this holds up, like I'm 70 hours in and I'm not tired of it 
in any way. Uh, if this holds up, then it's, it will be like top 10, at least uh, top 10 games of my life. It's, uh, it's that good. Uh, the only bad thing I also think it's uh, it's too hard. <laughs> I know it's a strange thing to say about Souls games, uh, but I don't like uh, hard games. So how I do it is in this is like uh, I just try to over level for all bosses. Um, but yeah, I, I manage and I think it's it it's within the framework of the game. So I, I guess that's it's allowed. <laughs> And I don't care about any soul cred or what you call it. Um, so yeah, I don't know what more to say because I will. Uh, maybe maybe it won't be the next month's game too, but yeah, I think I will play this next month a lot. Um, yeah. So what do you think? Anyone playing Elden Ring? Uh, I think everyone's playing Elden Ring, and it makes me happy. It's make me generally happy. Like a game that like this can get such critical and uh, commercial and uh, like public reception. That it's it's so good. It's liked by it's liked by everyone, both critics and players. And uh, it's fantastic. We need more games like this. It's. Uh, and I hope every time everyone <laughs> starts copying <clears throat> elements from this, like yeah, like just being in a world where you're not handholding, like it feels so fantastic. It's like a not knowing where to go, go or what to do, and you just have to like stumble around until you get the hang of it. That's oh yes, give me games like that. Uh, but yeah, we can get closer and closer to my dream game. It's a uh, yeah, it's like tech combination of this Minecraft and like Skyrim, um, Cyberpunk. Combine everything and you know, we get close to my perfect game. But we are not still there. But we are having a. Uh, we're eating good, boys. Yeah. All right. This uh, short. I don't know. Maybe it's not that short, but this is just uh, about one game. Uh, but this is my game of March. Uh, yeah, and I have to take a break from playing it, and I'm sad because I'm going on a trip to Iceland. Um, so the first thing I will do when I get home is start playing this again. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy. I learn as much my as much as I do, um, yeah, and uh, I see you. Well, see you soon, and um, happy gaming. Bye.